Good morning, kids. Good morning, Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Frost. We have a wonderful show planned for today. It's all about animals. Oh, animals are a wonderful subject. Kids are fascinated by them. Adults, too. You know, myself, for example. I find animals positively entrancing, captivating, intriguing. <laughs> We've made some great music videos for today, starring everything from kittens to elephants. Oh, that's a really good start. But I hope you're presenting some good information about the animals, too. Well, we weren't really planning on it. But I'm sure you can pull it together before you go on the air. We always do. Somehow. Don't you think you're being a little hard on the children, Stephanie? I mean, they're just kids. Sorry we can't help you guys, but Megan and I have a lot of technical things to get ready before we start the show. Great. Abandon the sinking ship. Cameron, Mimi, Lana, meet me in the office. Research alert. And here's the new special effect roses. And I've got another one for you. Beach toys. Great work, Asa. These will really liven up the show. Can you make more? Sure, I'll work on some more after the show today. Good, because we're on the air in five seconds. Roll the opening title in three, two, one, and take it. Let's make a show and cue the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kid Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Sergio Centeno. And I'm Tiffany Burton. And we're the Biggles! So kids, what are we up to today? We're making a show about one of our favorite subjects, animals. And to start us off, we made a video with puppies. Very cute puppies. Biggles are cute too. Very, very, very cute. <laughs> now, now, Billy, we can all be cute. Just look at my smile. Cheese. Tiffany, what's the name of the song? All Shook Up. Can you help us with research now? We need information on elephants, parrots, cats, horses, roosters, and dogs. Hey, listen to this. Elephants are the largest living land mammals. A male African elephant can weigh up to 16,000 pounds. Whoa. 16,000 pounds. Is that better? Much. Now I can hear myself when I talk and everyone else can too. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I have to go fix the teleprompter now. Call if you need anything. Okay, don't forget this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Are you ready, Evan? Yes, ma'am, and cue! These next songs star domesticated animals. That means they live with people. For example, cats, horses, lambs, bunnies, and sheep. And the Kid Songs kids got to visit with them all when they went to the animal fair. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. She said. 
chances, and if you don't behave, I'll turn you into a goon. That cat looks like the one in my bedtime storybook. to flower drinking nectar, and when they do, they get the pollen on their feet. Oh, I get it. And when they land on another flower, they spread the pollen, and that makes new flowers. And we can use that in the show. Script changes. <gasps> Thanks, do the hosts have them? Yes, I gave it to them. Uh, then let's turn to page nine next. Give me a second to get the video ready to play. And cue. The next song stars our friend Mary. She's a wonderful gardener and has a beautiful garden. Our Cracker Jack research team has discovered the important fact that in order to have a healthy garden, we need some help from our insect friends. Insect friends? I never thought of insects as friends. <laughs> Surprise, Billy. Insects like bees and butterflies have important jobs to do in helping flowers grow. Wow! Who knew? I always learn something new when I come to visit you guys. Now let's go to Mary's garden so we can ask, How, how does, does your, your garden, garden grow? grow? Very, very, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? All the flowers, all the colors, all in a perfect row. First the seeds and then the water, keeping a
There are baby wolves in the Harmony video? You're kidding. I thought those were puppies. <laughs> they look like puppies. Dogs and wolves are related. My science teacher told me that dogs are descendants of wolves. What does descendant mean? It means a long time ago, they were the same. But over time, they changed and became different. How fascinating. Biggles change too, you know. I can change my color. No, you can't. I can too. Wow. wow! That's cool. And keep the host in three, two. When the Kids Songs kids made this next video, they got to play with lots of different baby animals. Like puppies, ducks, kittens, and wolves. Did you know that even little bitty baby ducks can swim? Ah, uh, let's see them in harmony. says that the intro to peanut butter is next. What does that have to do with animals? I have no idea. I guess we'll just have to find out when Tiffany and Sergio introduce it in three, two... Our next song is a classic children's song about a classic children's food. Peanut butter. Peanuts are popular throughout the animal kingdom. Parrots, chipmunks, and squirrels love them. And elephants and monkeys, too. Even Biggles love peanut butter. And jelly! Woohoo! <laughs> First you take the peanuts and you crunch them, you crunch them. First you take the peanuts and you crunch them, you crunch them for your peanut, peanut butter.
last piece, right? Yeah. Can someone help me? With okay, busy now? everybody clear. It's time to bring in the huskies and the wolves. I've got a question marks ready to fly. And everyone's ready in the studio. Cool. <laughs> Roll the graphic. Three, two, one, and take it. And cue the host. Today on Question Time, we are welcoming some of our furry friends. A wolf, foxes, and some dogs, too. Take it away, Mimi. Thank you, Tiffany and Sergio. Today we're going to visit Molly Hogan, Clint Rowe, and the five members of the canine family. Thank you for coming today. Well, thank you very much for having us here today on Kids Songs. It's great to be here. Thank you. First of all, Molly, what is a canine? A canine is a dog. All canines are members of the dog family, which is called the canid family. Can you show us the similarities between wolf cubs and husky puppies? Well, this is a wolf right here, and this is a husky puppy. So you can see that they look very much the same, don't they? Another similar thing that they have, their behavior, is a husky actually works in a team when he's trained to be a sled dog. Now out in the wild, a wolf would hunt in a pack, so they also have to work as a team. Can you tell me what the differences are? The very most important difference is that this is a very wild animal. Even though he walks on a leash, he is a wild animal. And this is a domestic animal. Now remember, kids, wolves are very different from dogs. They can be dangerous. So never try and get close to one and never, ever pet one. And Clint, who is this golden retriever? This is uh, his friend. This is his buddy. This is who he was brought up with. Hey, he's very cute. He's very cute, isn't he? Now Susan's joined us and she's brought us some foxes. Well, this is Sally, and she's an African bat-eared fox, and she uses her ears something like radar. She listens in the ground for insects. She digs them up, and that's what she has for lunch. That's really neat. These foxes have the most teeth of all foxes. Can you try to show it to us? Good girl, good girl. Wow. Now, Molly, can you tell me what kind of fox this is? This is a silver red fox. Now, that doesn't mean she's going to turn red later. Actually, red foxes come in different colors. They come in silver, black, and red. And you can find these three colors in the same litter out in the wild, sort of like kids in the same family having different color hair. A really neat thing is, one way to tell that you're looking at a red fox is they all have a white tip on the end of their tail. Now, Clint, is the wolf related to the fox? Yes, he is. He's like a cousin. He's in the canine family. He's just farther removed down the tree. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Susan, and thank you, Clint, for bringing all your animal friends on the Kids Songs TV show. We've learned a lot of fun facts. There'll be more interesting people on the next Question Time. What time is it? Time for Ruby and my sing-along. Thanks, Billy. What are we singing along with today? You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> hey, I'm the director. <laughs> see ya. He's full of himself today. Sure is. And cue the host. Now it's time for the ever popular segment, Billy and Ruby's Sing Along. This next video is so cute, you're gonna love it. It's full of adorable baby animals. I love the ducks. I love the pigs. The pigs? You'll see. Okay, kids, this is an easy one to play along with, so just follow us.
little kid that I once knew had so many pets. He had a zoo. All day long he laughed and played. As he listened, he could hear them say, quack, 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 squeak, 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 squawk, 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 and a mew, mew, mew. As he listened, he could hear them say, the end. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, team. We're in the home stretch. Just one more video to go. And it's ready to roll. Sarah, cue the host. And cue. We've got time for one more song today. And it stars a mama and a baby elephant. Did you know that a baby elephant can weigh 175 pounds when it's first born? And it takes 20 years to grow to its full size? Let's enjoy these highly intelligent mammals as they take a stroll through the park one day. <laughs> we got all the script changes done. Me too. And we learned some new things. And some old things, like I'm hungry. Well then, as soon as Sergio and Tiffany wrap it up, we can go get lunch. You bet. Breakfast was a long time ago, and I'm ready to eat. Well then, just for you, pal, I'll cue the host. And cue. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for today on the Kid Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And starring kids. And Biggles! See ya! See ya. Congratulations, kids. What a wonderful show. And thanks for adding the information I asked for. And thanks for booking those husky puppies. I can't wait to play with them. 